Hey guys, Chris Laventis, Lightspeed here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about UTM tracking. Why is it so important and how do you actually implement it? So before I continue, I'd love it if you could smash the like button below. That really helps me out. And also subscribe to my channel to get all the latest updates on what's going on. So UTM tracking, I've just put a little search into Google and you can see a little explanation. UTM tracking entails adding a UTM code, a snippet of code to the end of a URL in order to track performance of your marketing campaign. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do that in Facebook for your Facebook ads. And then we're going to jump into Google Analytics. I'm going to show you the results of it. So why is it so important? Why do we need to do it? It is a little bit more additional work, but it doesn't take long and it's quite simple to do. But what it does with the iOS 14, it gives us an additional bit of information to find out exactly what campaigns are, um, what our campaigns, ad sets and ads are actually working through Google Analytics, which hasn't been affected so much with the iOS 14 as Facebook ads has. So it's kind of giving you some additional bit of information, which is obviously going to do you the world of good. So when you're trying to analyze to see what campaigns or what ads are actually working. So let's jump into the Facebook ads manager. So again, we're just creating campaign jumping down to the actual ad set and then we're coming to the actual ad itself. So we're going right to the bottom of the actual ad and then here you see it says build a URL parameter. So all we're going to do is we're going to click on the build a URL parameter and then here it says campaign source. So campaign source could be anything. So all it's going to be is uh, for us it's going to be either you're going to put Facebook ad or for me, um, agency is going to be some like light speed digital media. So let me do that in capitals light speed digital media. So for this example, you can see that I've put LSDM, and then we jump into Google Analytics. I'll show you how that will show up. And also, we can see the actual um, URL at the bottom once we've completed all of this. So that's the campaign source. You can put whatever you want there, it doesn't really make a difference, but put something. So um, remember, with all these campaigns, you can't have a space as well. So let me give an example. So I did Lightspeed Digital Media, and then I did a space, and then one. The space wouldn't show up. What you've got to do is you've got to put something like an underscore and then a one. So it's one bit of tracking altogether. No spaces will work on an actual um, building a URL. So let's leave it as LSDM. Now, Campaign Medium, if we click on that, you get given these options. All you need to do is just press the placement. So bracket, bracket, placement, bracket, bracket. So basically that's telling the URL tracking the actual placement of where it's going to be tracked to. So just put that as placement and then let the actual um, URL parameter do what it needs to do. Campaign name and campaign content. You can name these manually. So when I say manually, you can actually just put in exactly what you wanted to do. So um, your ad and your ad set or whatever you have, however you want to do it, or you could just do it automatically. So if we press on the campaign name, you can see that again, we'll come down to a drop down. You can just click on the um, this particular option, which will do it automatically for you, or you can do it manually. Um, it's entirely up to you. Test to see what works. Um, so it's just down to a preference of what you want to do. Um, campaign content again, you can do the drop down and you can see here we've got the actual ad name so we'll just press add name and then that will automatically um, get filled in in the campaign content so at the bottom here we've got add parameters so you can add a parameter and again you can put whatever you want you could put the um, ad set name and then press the ad set so say you wanted to do the ad set name you could do um, add set actually let's be consistent here um, add set name and then the value again will drop down and then you could do the ad set um, ad set name which is jump here so all you do then is once that's done you can see the parameter preview as well. So you can see UTM source, light speed, digital media, and then the medium placement, campaign, campaign name, pardon me, 
campaign name, ad set name. So all so this is the actual this is the URL tracking that will occur once you press the apply. So once you've pressed the apply, this bit of code then pops up, and that's your UTR UTM tracking, which you will then see on the Google Analytics. So once you uh, publish your Facebook ads, then this is how it's tracked. Now, if you do a preview, the tracking won't work. It will only work once your actual Facebook ads go live. So they've got to go live and then the tracking will work. Now, if you want to do put the um, put your website link into, so obviously you would put your, your website link here, but if you wanted to actually, in the actual uh, campaign itself, put the website link in, then it would still refer back to your website links, which is being tracked by the actual campaign for the URL. So I hope that bit makes sense. So once your ad is live and you've got your UT, UTM tracking uh, with the URL parameters, then basically you jump into Google Analytics um, and then you acquisitions, go to traffic acquisitions, and this is where the magic happens. This is where the additional bit of tracking occurs. So you can see that in this particular campaign, we've got Google um, paid ads running, we've got organic traffic, which is traffic from different sources. And then here you can see you've got Facebook tracking, direct, um, Lightspeed digital media tracking. So you can see as you click down, you can see sources, medium, gives you a bit more of a breakdown. You can see you've got the paid campaign, you've got organic, and then you've got Facebook referrals, you've got direct, none, and then you've got um, what we did earlier was Lightspeed digital media, mobile feed, you've got, um, again, mobile feed, referrals, and if you go down, you get a little bit more kind of granular, you get some more information, you get Instagram, you're getting, it tells you exactly where the um, desktop, you, you know, where the traffic's coming from. You can then dig deeper into the actual Google Analytics, which will then give you more detail. But for time's sake for this video, we won't do that. But you can see how powerful it actually is. So Facebook ads, you the UTM tracking, get the ads live, jump into Google Analytics, and then you can see exactly where your traffic is coming from. It's just an additional way with all the iOS issues that are going on that you can track to see exactly what's going on. Does it make a difference? Absolutely, it does. And I think it's something that takes a little bit longer to do, but it's well worth doing it, especially in this day and age. So I hope that has helped and made sense. I'd love it if you could just comment below, tell me what you think of the videos, what other videos are you guys looking for? If you're looking for a paid ad service, then Lightspeed is definitely the place to be. We do e-commerce, coaches, consultants, all sorts. So if you're looking for a no obligation chat, then I'll put the link in below. Just click on that, it will come to a calendar, speak to either myself or one of the team, and uh, we'd love to jump onto a call and see if we can assist you guys. There is a um, qualification to go through to make sure that you know we are a good fit. So just fill out that, jump on a call, and hopefully we can work together. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Obviously, then I can make more videos. Um, check out the channel. We've got lots more content coming out and uh, I hope that it's really helped you guys. Have a good one and take care. Bye.